Cooking it up with thee. Comment, like, share, subscribe. That's me. I'm gonna use some catfish. This is frozen, but you are welcome to get some fresh kind. I'm just gonna be Okay, so we're gonna take some onions, panko, black pepper, some Goya adobo seasoning, ground red pepper, celery seed, and ground sage. And we're gonna mix them in a bowl. You just wanna put as much as your heart desires and crush up the onions. I just crushed them up with my hands, but you can take a bag and crush them up like that. Take a mallet, anything you want, and just crush them up. It's all right if they're kind of chunky. So this is what it looks like after you're done. Then you want to get a bowl. I have two eggs in here that I scrambled, some flour, and here is your catfish. So we're gonna work, we're gonna work from this way over, and this is going to be my breading station. So you would have whatever it is that you're gonna bread, your flour, your egg, and your panko. So what we're gonna do is Take a fish, we're going to dip the catfish in the flour, then we're going to dip it in the egg. Then we're going to dip it in our breading. And this is what it looks like. So you just want to set it to the side. Alright guys, so this is what your fishes look like after they have been breaded. I'm just going to let them sit here for a minute just to soak in. Alright guys, so I have my skillet here and I have placed in my skillet some extra virgin olive oil. Now we are going to pan fry these. The difference between pan frying and actually deep frying is when you deep frying, Whatever you're frying gets submerged completely in oil. With this, there's a little, there's less oil in there. And it's only coating the bottom of the pan, as you can see. And we're just going to pan fry it on each side for a couple of minutes because it doesn't take that long. We are ready for the pan searing. Our oil is hot. Just going to grab the fish and we're going to place it in the pan. Now you don't want to overcrowd your pan so it looks like we can only fit three in. You don't want to overcrowd your pan because if it's too much in there it won't cook properly or some of the stuff won't get cooked all the way and we don't want anybody to all get right. sick. So let's Flip them over to the other side. It's been cooking for about three minutes All right. on this side. So, as you can see, 
the face has a beautiful golden brown color and this is what you want okay so these look great so what we're gonna do is take these out i'm just gonna place them to the side i'm just gonna place them in the baking tray